So we're talking back and forth. It's like a two-fight deal. I rings, he rings up Crawford in front of me the day after the fight. I said, Crawford, get on the box. The world of combat sports is abuzz with the latest developments between boxing sensation Terence Crawford and MMA superstar Conor McGregor. The two champions have been engaged in discussions about a potential crossover fight, stirring excitement and debate among fans and experts alike. In a recent interaction, Crawford revealed that McGregor reached out to him regarding a unique two-fight deal. We're talking back and forth, it's like a two-fight deal, Crawford said. He rings up Crawford in front of me the day after the fights. Crawford gets on the phone and says, Crawford got talking to me here about you and me a two-fight deal. I'm in the first, boxing second. I said, I know you have an extensive background. This conversation highlighted the mutual respect between the two athletes and their willingness to explore uncharted territory. McGregor, never one to shy away from a challenge, acknowledged the proposal in separate interviews. Both fighters confirmed that Turkey Alalshik, the chairman of Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority, had offered them the deal. Their second bout would be in the boxing ring, a platform where Crawford has reigned supreme. They offered me the fight, Crawford said. Me and Conor got on the phone and started politicking to try and figure something out. He was like, I respect that you respect my sport just like I respect your sport. You understand that if you got in the octagon with me, you would be at a disadvantage. Just like if I got in a boxing ring with you, I'd be at a disadvantage. Despite understanding the physical demands and risks involved, McGregor made a bold pitch to Crawford. Ever the showman, he tried to sweeten the deal by appealing to Crawford's financial interests. But we'll make a ton of money, Crawford recalled with a laugh, remembering McGregor's persuasive tone. Crawford responded, I told him, look, sometimes it ain't all about the money. I can make plenty of that, but I'm not letting you kick and elbow me, man. Those kicks and elbows, that stuff is no joke. McGregor, quick to respond, took to social media after hearing Crawford's reservations. Finally, we're going to make history, lad. This will be the biggest fight ever. Let's see how you handle a real fight, he posted, adding fuel to the already blazing fire of speculation. Former welterweight champion Tim Bradley expressed mixed feelings about the potential matchup. Crawford is the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer right now. He's a technician in the ring, Bradley said. But stepping into McGregor's world, that's a different beast. If it stays on its feet, Bud has the advantage. But the second McGregor throws a kick, it's over. Bradley praised Crawford's boxing skills, but was concerned about him venturing into MMA. Sure, you know, like I said, man, they put the money up, Crawford responded to such concerns. Give me enough time to train, and everything else will be settled. When asked if he was serious about the fight, he affirmed, I would be. It's a fight, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a fight. If they can come over here and make $100 million in a ring, why can't I go over there and make $100 million in an octagon? Crawford recognizes the massive financial opportunity that comes with stepping into the octagon for a crossover fight. While it's a significant risk for any elite boxer, the sheer spectacle of Crawford taking on an MM challenge, especially against a star like McGregor, could result in a payday far beyond even the biggest boxing matches. The crossover appeal between boxing and MMA combined with promotional hype would attract a global audience, making it a lucrative venture Crawford might find hard to resist despite the risks involved. Since his high-profile defeat in 2017, McGregor has yet to return to the boxing ring, managing only four fights in the octagon since then, three of which ended in disappointing losses. However, the tantalizing possibility of a comeback to boxing has been a recurring theme among combat sports legends. Now the buzz is intensifying as Crawford steps into the spotlight as the latest contender to reignite discussions about McGregor's return to boxing. Meanwhile, Jake Paul has also shown interest in fighting McGregor. What I really want is Conor. I'll put the nail in his casket, Paul declared. When asked about his ideal fight lineup, he mentioned, Ideally, if you could have it your way, is it Nate, Tommy, Conor? Is KSI anywhere in that equation anymore? Paul responded, KSI fights Tommy, he's going to get knocked out. It's all kind of in the air, time will tell. McGregor has also stirred the pot by targeting boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez in a fiery social media post. 
He hinted that Turkey Alaushik may have moved on from Canelo due to his declining marketability. McGregor didn't hold back, posting, Canelo is a cornflake. He pulls in about 300,000 pay-per-view, buys nowhere near what he demands. UFC knows it will run them off the strip. Sheik Turkey was smart to move on. Canelo doesn't sell. Canelo, never one to stay silent, responded during a pre-fight press conference. Conor is just helping Dana White sell the UFC, that's why he's saying these things, Alvarez remarked with a smirk, adding in Spanish, he knows he's my son. Reports have surfaced suggesting that Canelo's last fight pulled in only 500,000 pay-per-view buys, raising questions about whether he is still justifying his hefty paychecks. Rumors continue to swirl about potential blockbuster showdowns with David Benavidez or Terence Crawford, but so far Canelo seems uninterested in taking on either challenge, leaving fans wondering what's next for the once unstoppable boxing legend. Andre Ward, who has worked closely with Crawford, voiced his concern. Bud is a special talent, but fighting McGregor in an MMA setting that's a risk. McGregor isn't just any fighter, he's dangerous. I just hope Bud knows what he's getting into. Crawford, addressing these concerns, said, It's going to be hundreds of millions on the line. What's up? McGregor replied, I don't want to take a kick, you've got to respect that. Crawford recently recorded a unanimous decision victory over Israel Madrimov, becoming the unified welterweight champion and WB junior middleweight title holder. McGregor has been hinting at a potential future in bare-knuckle boxing, keeping fans intrigued about what's next. The Irish superstar has been sidelined since suffering a devastating leg injury in his 2021 UFC loss to Dustin Poirier. His anticipated match against Michael Chandler was derailed due to a broken toe. As of now, McGregor has yet to confirm a new date or opponent for his much-anticipated return to combat sports. At 37 years old, Crawford's career is reaching its twilight. Despite being one of the most dominant boxers, with championships in multiple weight classes, he seeks one last fight with a purse that will ensure a happy retirement. That's the main reason he wants to step into the ring with Canelo Alvarez to cap off his undefeated career with a big purse. However, for Crawford, it's not just about the money. If that were the case, he would have accepted McGregor's offer to face him in mixed martial arts. Samson Lukovic, promoter for Sebastian Fundora, assured that they are ready to make an offer, backed by premier boxing champions, so that the fight can be made within 90 days, complying with the WBO mandate. But according to Lukovic, Crawford's representatives have not communicated with them. Lukovic is confident that if the fight is agreed upon, Fundora would have ample options to beat Crawford, who he said is now too big, while his representative has not stopped training and is ready for the fight. Despite the buzz surrounding McGregor's potential comeback, UFC veteran Mike Brown remains skeptical. He stated, I was never confident that he would return. It didn't shock me when I saw he was out of this fight with Chandler. No, I'm still on that same train, he's not ever coming back. I hope I'm wrong. I hope he proves me wrong. Brown's words add a layer of tension, leaving fans wondering whether McGregor will defy expectations. He further added, I would like to see Conor fight again. I want him to commit to a real training camp with genuine training partners, really push himself, and get back to the great Conor that we all remember. But let's be honest, it's probably not happening. Boxing fans are clamoring for a showdown between Crawford and Canelo Alvarez, but whispers of doubt have emerged. One fighter who has faced 